the brain. In this video, we will discuss the major structure and function of the brain. The brain can be divided into many parts, including the cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, pons, hypothalamus, thalamus, and more. The largest part of your brain, the cerebrum, can be further divided into parts called hemispheres and controls most of the body's voluntary activities. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body, while the right hemisphere controls the left side of the body, in most cases. The cerebrum can also be broken down into lobes. These grooves and folds help to improve um, your ability to think critically. The occipital lobe in the back of the, of the head in the brain controls eyesight. The temporal lobe on the side of the head controls hearing. The frontal lobe over here helps with language, judgment, and decision making. The other areas of the parietal lobe of the brain help you sense and interpret tastes, smells, and help store um, information. The cerebellum is a separate structure at the base of the brain. It's very active when you ride a bike, swim, or play music. It controls balance, posture, and coordination of skeletal muscles. The other parts of the brain are equally, if not more, critical to survival. The medulla oblongata, over here, controls involuntary actions like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. The pons helps control breathing as well. I'll put breathing rate. The, um, <clears throat> in the center of the brain, which you cannot see here, there's a structure called the thalamus. The thalamus serves as the operator, taking in messages and relaying them to the appropriate parts of the brain. The hypothalamus, just below, hypo meaning lower or below, is close to the limbic system and is um, responsible in part for aggression, fear, and sexual behavior. But also, it regulates temperature, water, appetite, and thirst. The hypothalamus <clears throat> is important in the endocrine system, as you will learn later. This, finally, at the base of the brain is a structure here called the spinal cord. The spinal cord helps transmit messages from the brain to organs and muscles in the body. The human brain alone consists of about 100 billion neurons. These messages uh, transmitted by the brain are the most vital for daily, daily functioning. There's much more that we don't know about the brain, including specifics about how diet, sleep, exercise, and stress impact um, our body's functioning. Um, and scientists are closer than ever to revealing cures and treatments for crippling diseases of the brain like Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, cancer, Parkinson's, and um, terrible traumatic brain injuries.